channel. So today I'm going to be going back to the 90s with this Courtney Love inspired grunge look. Now she has a lot of grunge looks, but this one I liked in particular because it's one that she wore frequently and often. But if you guys do want to see more looks, feel free to comment down below. This look would not be complete without this fabulous wig that I got from this one company called E Nile Core. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. People really like to get mad when I pronounce wig names wrong or brands wrong, but how am I supposed to know? It's literally something that you just have to think about like when you see it on the website. Whenever you buy something off of a website, they're not telling you what their name is. So I don't know why people get so offended by that, but this wig is from a little Amazon brand. Oh, I'm so sorry you guys could see my mirror. It's by a little cute Amazon company called E Nile Core Beauty and it came in this really cute bag right here with the wig cap included. It came with a wig cap even though this wig is just shy of $16. So this right here is a perfect wig if you want to do Courtney Love or even Sia. Like I literally was like Courtney Love or Sia, but like come on. My channel's all about the 90s. Like I don't really even listen to Sia's music. I just reminded me of Sia. This could even be like Lady Gaga. Like 2009 Lady Gaga, like no kidding. But when I saw this wig on Amazon, I immediately thought of Courtney Love. It's very grunge and baby doll 90s, that type of look. So I really wanted to do something with it. I think it's very cute and good quality for the very like small price. So yeah, it's a very cute wig. It's fun. It's, it's a bob style type and it has waves, I'm sure it can handle heat. This wig is only 13 inches long and full and it hasn't shed at all. It has a nice net underneath with some hooks at the bottom, like to adjustable straps. I mean, no hooks on the actual wig, but just adjustable straps. So this is gonna be perfect for like a party, just any type of costume event, anything, or if you're into cosplay, this would make a really cute dolly cosplay type of look. And it actually is, I looked on the website, it is heat resistant, so if you're not into these beach wave textures, you can always straighten it down so you can get that blunt bob. But anyways, I really thought this wig completed the look. I absolutely love it. So yeah, if you guys really are interested, I will leave it down below with the code, but anyways, this look is going to be super easy to achieve. It only took me like six minutes to do. So let's get started on the tutorial. All right, you guys. So I just put in these contacts so my eyes are like really watery. I promise I wasn't crying. So, Sia or Courtney Love? So this is gonna be a super simple tutorial. Like, I have very little face makeup on. And when I say very little, I mean it like you don't want to overdo it. You want your face to look like you have barely any makeup on. So what I did was I just put like a little bit of concealer on my face, but I didn't really want to focus on that too much. I wanted to focus on the grungy eyes. And if you were curious to know how I did my makeup, kind of, it was very similar to how I did it in my last tutorial. Well, my last, last tutorial, which was the Prue Halliwell tutorial. Like I've just like put BB cream on my face, slathered it on. They weren't about that really heavy face makeup. It was more about the eye makeup. So what I'm going to do is do a minimal Courtney Love grunge tutorial. And now if you want the more plummy, pinkish Courtney Love look, then comment that down below and like this video. If not, then I'm gonna waste your time. So my eyes, we're not going to be too fancy. I am going to be using this palette right here. And this is just like a neutral um, BH palette that I've had for a very long time. It has like almost every color we need because like I said, neutral. And what I am going to do is just take this color right here. It's a reddish peachy color, mix those two. And we're going to place these in the sockets of our eyes. What I love about grunge tutorials is they don't have to be neat. Like I've seen so many like grunge tutorials on YouTube where I'm like, why? Because they're like full glam with, um, they're just like super full glam and I don't remember grunge really looking like that. But I mean, it's cool that they're modernizing it. I get that. But 
Like the real art of grunge is it's grungy. It's not supposed to be pretty. It's supposed to be like messy. And I think that's what's like so cool about this time is like how messy it was and that you didn't need to be perfect. Like I know so many people like tell me I can't do your makeup because I don't know how. And it's just like, well, if you're into the 90s and if you're into grunge, this look is for you because you don't really need to put that much effort into it. Just as long as you have a big fluffy brush and the right shadows, and these were super cheap, I'm not using like Dior shadows or anything, then it should work. Okay, so there's the peach. And now super simple, what I'm going to do is take a brown liner for the lower lash line. Jordana, one dollar I think. And I'm going to do this, so run it under your lower lash line. Kind of like a doll shape, she was really into that doll look. So run it underneath your lower lash line. Again, I'm showing you on this eye. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a plummy color. I'm not using that eyeshadow palette because they don't have the color. But I'm going to be using Bitten by Makeup Geek also pretty inexpensive eyeshadow and I'm going to just smoke that out so with the small brush like this I'm going to take bitten and smoke out so like so And smoke that out. That's why I'm not showing you guys my face because it really doesn't matter because you're just going to dig in there and kind of like smoke that out. I'm going to take this Jeffree Star lip liner. It's actually eye safe and it's called Weirdo and I'm going to place this on my top lash line. Not really too neat. Just like pencil brush I'm going to blend that out so kind of like lining your upper lash line but I really wanted to do this because then it can be more messy and grunge You know, I really love this makeup because you don't have to worry about being too neat. I just feel like these days, like, we always have to worry about being perfect and being so neat all the time. And that's what grunge is all about. That's definitely what Courtney Love is all about. So she did not care. That smoked. And now I'm going to curl my lashes. I did see a lot of pictures of her with long spider lashes. So you might want to emphasize that a bit. And I'm taking Mega Length Mascara with NYX Double Stack. I'm going to do both of them together because I feel like that's going to make my lashes look really nice and long, clumpy, all that good stuff. Kind of like that. It's looking really good. So. What I want to do next is, I'm not too worried about like blush or anything, like I'll take a little bit of this NYX blush, rub some on my hands and do this, but like I said, I'm not too worried about blush, like if you want to put some color in your face, go for it, but we're not going to worry too much on that. Now we're moving on to the lips. She had big full lips, so I'm gonna slightly overdraw, and I am taking Cap Cabernet by Jordana. Yeah, typically when I would get mistakes right there that would drive me crazy but not today. I'm taking a mix between Media and Diva by MAC and mixing these two together for that perfect Courtney Love lip.
so that was basically it guys whoops my strap went down um five minutes i would say five to six minutes that look took super simple that's all it took with grunge makeup super easy i know that you guys have been loving these last of the past makeup looks you love how simple and easy to achieve they are oh wait like can't forget my crown i know that courtney love like to wear her prince's crown so i could leave that on there but i really hope that you guys enjoyed this makeup look i had so much fun creating it you know how much i love the 90s so if you are new to my channel then expect lots of 90s videos to be coming and if you're not new love you i'm so glad that you stuck around throughout all this time thank you so much but anyways if you guys were interested in this wig remember i will be leaving it linked down below it's perfect for this look i couldn't have asked for a better one i just love it so much Anyways, I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. So if you do want to see the more done-up Courtney Love look, please like and comment below.